Hi and welcome, my name is Lawrence Baker and this video is going to be about going out from Lightroom on a desktop, that means CC or Classic, out to Twitter via a web browser on a desktop, i.e. Google Chrome. Let's find out what Twitter actually want from us in terms of image size. So going to Twitter's website now. Photos can be up to 5 megabytes on mobile and up to 15 megabytes on the web. So that's JPEG and 15 megabytes. Doesn't give pixel dimensions. I'm going to use Sprout Social's Google Drive document and they say recommended dimensions 506 by 253. The reason they say recommended is that you're unlikely to have your image cropped in the in-stream view, but it's far too small for us, so we need to go to a bigger size. 440 by 220 is the minimum, which we are never going to use. The maximum is 1024 by 512. 1024 has meaning because if you go above 1024, Twitter will resize your image. So it will be allowable in other words, you can upload an image at 2048, but it will be resized to 1024. Now, don't feel constrained to the two to one aspect ratio. Most of my images have not gone out at two to one aspect ratio, and they've been absolutely fine. Sometimes there is a small amount of cropping, but it all depends on the device, i.e. phone, tablet, or desktop, looking at my photos. You're trying to please everyone if you go with 506 by 253. But if you go with uh, something that's not two to one, don't worry too much because the cropping often doesn't happen. It just uh, sometimes does. But when you click on the image, it will look absolutely fine. So let's go back to Lightroom. And let's say we wanted to crop this image to 1024 by 512. Well, we have to crop to an aspect ratio. So I'm gonna press D on my keyboard. I could come up to tools and crop or press R on my keyboard or click on that symbol there. All I would do now is come down here, enter custom and it's two to one and then play around with it and then export it at 1024 by 512. I want to go with my crop, so I'm going to reset it and close it down. I haven't really cropped it, but let's say I wanted to go with this, so I'm just gonna go straight to export now. So before I go there, I'm gonna go back to the library view because we need to see the metadata. E on my keyboard for loop view in the library. Right, command and control, shift E or file export. I've got a little one set up. This is a export preset. Twitter photo, JPEG, quality of 100. Well, you might say, well, you can have 100 because at 1024 longest edge, you're unlikely to go above 15 megabytes. Quite true. And a few days ago, I would have said that, but I've been thinking about it a bit more. Why not give the server, i.e. Twitter, a smaller image for it to process because it will process it quicker. So go with something like 80 and you'll be fine. And that will be quite a significant file saving. So it's just good practice. So I'm gonna stay with around 80. But if you want absolute maximum quality, go for 100, but you're unlikely to notice the difference. But you will get the file savings here. So it is good practice. So resize to fit, long edge. Now, if I wanted width and height at 1024 by 512, providing I've cropped to that aspect ratio, two to one, I can do it here, but I just want long edge and 1024. Because as I said, that is the maximum you can go to. So my image is going to look exactly the same in terms of aspect ratio when it goes out. Don't enlarge, well, if the image in the first place was smaller than 1024 on its longest edge, which happens to be 7929 pixels, very far away from 1024. There's no harm in having that ticked if you want to. Resolution of one. The reason I picked one is just to prove a point. When you've got pixels here, it doesn't matter what you've got in resolution. When you've got inches or centimeters, it does. I have covered it previously in another video, actually. It doesn't matter to a screen. It's a bit of metadata that goes into the file. I wish Adobe would put print resolution here, but 
you know, everyone thinks it's 72. I'm just putting one in to prove a point. And when we get this out onto my desktop, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Sharpen for screen, yes, an amount standard will be absolutely fine. You must sharpen on export because you've resized the image and changed the format, etc. Include all metadata. Now, at one time, I thought that Twitter would read my GPS data there. It doesn't seem to work. If it did, what would happen is it would read it, then strip out all the metadata. So there's no metadata left to make the image smaller so it loads faster. So in this context, it doesn't work. If you're on your app and you've set up your privacy and security properly, yes, it will read that GPS data. Unfortunately, by the method we're using, it doesn't seem to use it. And that's in my experience on just the Chrome browser. But, you know, I believe it's not being read. So why give it any metadata? Well, my attitude is this. Why not give it the copyright? Now, Facebook used to strip all the metadata out. They don't anymore. They leave your name in. And that's really good. If someone lifts your image and they ha they've forgotten to change the IPTC data, your name will be in it. But I hope Twitter allow copyright information to stay with an image in the future. They don't use the metadata, nor do Facebook, I believe, but they do get rid of it. And Facebook now only keep the copyright, but Twitter takes everything out. So post-processing, I'm going to show it in my Finder, which is like Windows Explorer. Overwrite it because I've done it before. I'm just going to go to my Finder. There's the image. And what I'm going to do is open it up in my Preview app, which is like Windows Photo Viewer, but I'm on a Mac. So Command-O. There's the image. Command-I. 1024 by 683. DPI should be PPI of 1. What's wrong with that image? Not a, Nothing at all. PPI does not matter to a screen. The PPI of the screen matters, but the PPI in an image doesn't matter. It's always about size. And it is when it goes to print as well. But I'm going to show you what resolution I'm on at the moment. 2048 by 1152. Twice 1024. That's why that image takes up half the screen in width. And to prove it, to make sure I'm on actual size, which is 1024 by whatever size that was. That's uh, 683. But this is 1024 we're looking at. So if I change my resolution of my screen to a very high pixel density, like 3200 by 1800, guess what? The image gets smaller. Command zero to make sure I'm actually seeing it at actual size. So as the pixel density goes up, an image of a given size will get smaller. If I go back down to 1280 by 720, you can see it's taking up more of the screen. As far as the screen goes, the pixel density of the screen, i.e. the resolution, matters. Now, I'm just going to bring it back to where I was before, 2048 by 1152, to make that image fill up half the screen. So now it's out. All I would have to do, quite logically, is go up to Twitter, click Tweet, find my image, and upload it. Now, I'm going to show you a plug-in now. It's from someone called Jeffrey Friedel, F7 for the left-hand side panel. Now, it doesn't show up in published services, F7 to get rid of that panel, but it does publish to Twitter. Command and Control Shift E or Shift Command and Control E, JF Twitter. All that bit's quite normal. Resize to fit, long edge, and that's Jeffrey put it in there, 1024. So he agrees with my sizing. The thing I like about this is this, Tweet Text. You can use these curly bracket things here, whatever they call them, script things, whatever. So the title there is actually the title inside the metadata. So Benbridge Beach, Isle of Wight. So title then comes Benbridge Beach, Isle of Wight. Full stop taken at city and taken at Benbridge, which is the city there. And province is Isle of Wight, and that's why it's got Isle of Wight there, countries England. You can put all sorts of things in there. I'll show you some examples. You could even put the GPS data in, you know, all sorts of things, your copyright. It's all there with this image there, your phone number, whatever you like. So once you've set it up properly, it really saves you a lot of time. And if I pressed export now, off it would go. You have to pay for it after 42 days of use. If you don't pay for it, it's just reduced in its sort of use. So I think it goes down to 10 images at a time or five or whatever. 
But if you pay for it, anything from one cent upwards, you have the full use of the plugin until there's a major upgrade to Lightroom when Jeffrey has to rewrite the plugin. So obviously you have to pay some money because he's taken a lot of time to rewrite the plugin. As I said, anything from one cent upwards, and it's 42 days, I believe, full use, then it'll warn you you've only got, you know, so many images at a time to upload. That's it, really. I'll just show you one little thing before I go in Chrome here. I'm going to show you the develop mode. View, developer, developer tools, ultra option, command and control I. Same on every browser, by the way, but we're dealing with Chrome here. I'm simulating an iPhone 4. I'm going to change its orientation there. So there's the emulation, really, of the iPhone. Just make sure you're on network and image down here. And then when you reload the page, you have to do this. You'll see your images appear down the side here. Now, as you scroll down, you'll see it get larger and larger and larger, the images going down there. So that's that image there, and it is there. Make sure you've got preview on here as well. So that's network, image, preview. It's 680 by 336. I obviously did not upload it at that size. Click on it. You can see the full image. Command R to reload. It's just good practice when you're doing this. There's the image, 1024 by 506. That's what I uploaded it at. So you can emulate different devices and what i'm saying is it's why your images get resized on the fly that's why the recommended size there of 506 by 253 was a happy medium that would probably work on most devices what i'm saying is it's not absolutely essential that's why i don't care about two to one because a lot of my images almost come to the two to one aspect ratio and they often don't get cropped so, you know, that's not two to one. There's no cropping on it. I believe, you know, there definitely isn't. So these sizes and the aspect ratios are a safety measure, really. You can go outside the two to one aspect ratio, but you can't bust 1024. So in a nutshell, 1024 maximum, longest edge, 15 megabytes, you're never going to get anywhere near that. That image at the moment is 70.4 kilobytes. Don't forget, it's probably been played around with by Twitter, but it's 70.4 kilobytes. And 1024 longest edge, and you're fine. So don't feel constrained to that two to one aspect ratio, though. If you're near it, it will be absolutely fine. Just occasionally on some devices in the in stream view, it will be cropped. But when you click on it, like here, it will look absolutely fine providing you've not done something ridiculous to the image right that's it guys thanks very much